Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a minute or two, but we're ready for some adventures and we thought we'd take you guys along. Yep, we're headed out on a new adventure. You can see behind me, I've got the little rubber jet boat. That is our Alaska Jet Ranger. We've got right there, we got trucks, two trucks. Yes. We're headed out on a raft trip. Instead of jet boating, we're actually gonna be floating. Yeah. We're headed to the Yukon River. Eventually, anyway. <laughs> we're taking a big, long river trip and eventually we're gonna end up on the Yukon Headed in through Canada. We're gonna yep, and we to end up, Eagle. Yep, we end up hitting the Yukon River in Canada and then floating down to Eagle. That's why we have two trucks. We need a truck in Eagle to bring us back to our other truck that's gonna be staged at our start point. So yeah. anyways, guys, I know we haven't been on here in a while, but hey, we've been having fun all summer all long. All summer we've been having a blast. And we'd love <laughs> to take you along on this one. So let's get going. you guys could see it but there's a rainbow right over that hill right there so right behind me over there that's all smoke you can smell the smoke in the air we're up on american summit right now right before you drop down to eagle on the yukon river where we'll be staging a vehicle and that's where we're going to float down to so we're going to camp here for the night it's pretty late i think it's like 9 9 30 yeah at night or in the evening so uh we're going to camp here We'll drop down Eagle in the morning, drop a vehicle off, and head back to the boat. Start our float. Okay. Yes, it does. Easy there, little tiger. Camp set up on the trailer. We got an empty trailer because the we're dropping this off for the boat. Might as well use it. Might as well use it. <laughs> Better than laying on the rocks tonight. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna get the rest of this tent set up. We're probably gonna enjoy the evening a little bit and then just go to bed. We got an early morning and we got a float to do. Yes, we do. All right, you can see the river behind me here. And Helping Ryan back up the truck. Anyways, as I was saying, we are getting ready to leave this here and then we're heading back down to where we dropped our boat off. And then we'll, this will be here so we can have it staged to pick it up. So we can pick our, take our boat out when we get done floating the Yukon. Made it. Made it to our <laughs> drop off point. Now we got to haul ass back to the boat. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's a beautiful morning. Look at it. It's so pretty. Well, we finally made it down to where we're launching 
And we're starting to load up the boat. Get everything organized. Got a bunch of stuff we gotta pack up. So Ryan and I each get a bag and then we have food, fuel, and a couple other things. Maybe we'll be ready to go shortly. All right, guys, I'm, uh, we're getting ready to go. So if you've watched our videos, you know I carry this uh, Ruger 44 Magnum. And the holsters I carry are just-in-case holsters. And he recently sent me his new upgraded version. And you got to check this out. Same quality. This leather is just, I mean, just the, the leather work. Look at that. Everything about it is just sweet. But here, you put it on. Now, this is his chest holster. And you come around the back. And the nice thing about it is you got two straps. See these, these little straps right there? And I can just pull. Where before, you had to adjust through some screws. These things right here, it was before, he had a bunch of holes and you could adjust them. Now, I can just go like this and it's loose. This is tight. And the beauty of that is, I only have a t-shirt on right now. But if I was to put jackets on, now I can quickly adjust the gun around me or say I gave it my son-in-law. I mean, you know, I'm a chunky monkey, but my son-in-law is a lot thinner than me and uh, we were doing a float trip earlier this summer and I gave him the gun and he was able to just tighten it right around him. So it's, it's just makes it so quick and adjustable. But guys, got the gun, get our life jackets on and I think we're ready to go. Yeah, we're ready to go. All right. We're ready for the river. Here we go. Ooh, it's got some weight to it. Can you get in? Hop on in. You got my, my chariot of weights? Yep, it does. Yeah, man. Nice. And uh, here I go. I'm to drain my shoes over there. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> We're officially on the river, babe. <laughs> we are, oh man. That is nice. The seat? Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's do some paddling. All right, well, we're officially on the river and it's time to adventure on. Time to drift. Go ahead and flip it around. <laughs> there you go. some degrees out. <laughs> it's hot. Yeah, it's <laughs> like being on a river. Yeah. Not if I could just be in the river. I'm ready to drag my feet. It's like we got some wind in the water right there. See it? Yep. It's a little straight. Okay, here we go. Okay. What do you want me to do? I don't know. Paddle maybe? So we got to turn the corner. Care. That was awesome. That's key. Yeah, I caught a grayling. He caught one and he got away. Got, got a grayling. Ooh, nice, baby. Yeah, we got a grayling. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, we got some rapids coming. All right. There's a grayling out there just waiting to hit my lure. We just haven't met yet. <laughs> There's where the walker. The walker fork comes in at the 40 mile river. Cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, that's a bunch of water. <laughs>
try to get some fresh fish too bad. Probably. I probably screwed up his fishing spot. <laughs> We've been out here enjoying ourselves on the river today. Today is day one of our float, and uh, we've seen tons of miners and dredges out here, which is pretty cool. But look Gold at the miner suction dredging. Yeah, look how beautiful this place is. Awesome. Awesome. It's amazing. And the most handsome thing. Right there. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> to all the ladies out there, <laughs> I'm not available. He's, he's not available. <laughs> Making myself some. Keep talking. About. The old mountain house. Yes. The meals of champions when you're out adventuring, huh? <laughs> nice. Well, it's been a good day. We're going to have some dinner. We got a pretty cool, nice, big gravel bar here. We're gonna eat a couple of mountain houses and then we're gonna keep going down river. It's about six o'clock at night. I think we'll keep going down river for a little bit and then find a good camp spot. Hopefully we can find some sand we can camp on. Mm -hmm. All the beaches we've found so far are pretty rocky and uh, well, not ideal, but we'll figure it out. Okay. The struggle's real, huh? Yes. Well, we found this sandy s spot for spending the first night day here. one camp I think right here is pretty sandy and fairly flat Whew. what do you think looks good to me looks good to Two on the river, babe. There we go. Got the boat packed up. Vaughn's bag goes right there. Yep. Goes in there. We'll use those later. Keep some water bottles for later. We'll filter water. Yep. Well, suck it in there. Throw it in. Whoa, oh, come geez. on. Jeez, it's all covered in sand. Mine is super clean. Yours was super clean? Competition? Yeah, competition. Well, we don't want sand in the boat for sure. Yeah. As best we can. <clears throat> All right, guys, so <clears throat> it's morning. The sun's just coming up over the mountains here. We're kind of in this canyon and uh, we have another day of floating. We're probably going to jet boat some of this stuff because uh, we're a little short on time. This floats uh, 120 miles approximately and. We only have about seven days to do it, which would, uh, I don't know. We, we're worried about time frame, so we might jet boat a bunch of it or some of it and uh, just enjoy time fishing, catch some grayling and floating in nature. Yeah. We're out here in the wilderness. I don't even know how far away from stuff we are. Long ways. <laughs>
you know. I was just gonna say, do you want to pull out right here and have a little breakfast? Floating down the river, having fun. Check out the, I mean, just the scenery is amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Got some rapids just coming up a little bit. Looks like we need to shoot down the middle of them. See that rock right there? You act like we're running a class four rapid or something. We're gonna <laughs> shoot down the middle. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, huh? It is fun. Such a good time. Yeah. I'm shooting the gauntlet, babe. I'm shooting the gauntlet. <laughs> <laughs> You'd never guess that Vaughn's favorite movie is River Wild. <laughs> Old movie. Old movie, but a good one. There's no murderers on this river, I hope. <laughs> all that foam right there. Yeah. Piled up. You'd think it'd be good fishing, but man, we haven't caught a fish yet. Well, you caught two yesterday. I mean, today. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I would think that'd be good fishing right in there. Back eddy? Yeah, throw a pole in there. Should I throw my whole pole in? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That's very steep. Baby, avoid the rock. <laughs> Ooh, Ryan caught wow. a fish today. Today's fish. I did not get skunked. He's a tiny one. He's just a little baby. Hold still, fella. Oh, go. Oh, 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 there, oh, he, goes. there he goes. Thank goodness. <laughs> Look at him swim around. Yeah. He's like, oh, where am I at? That was awesome. Good job, sweetie. Dang oh, it. What happened there? I'm all tangled up, I guess. I don't oh, know. Oh, there it goes. You're going to get caught on the bottom if you're not careful. Something's wrong. Huh. There you go. Dang it, man. I was I should have been in there fishing like that. Ooh, watch out for that. It's a wood. Man, when they hit bite. it, they They're hit it hard. To bite. Nothing. But when they tap it, man, they tap it. Yeah, they do. Got that old dredge bucket sitting in the river. Super old dredge bucket from back in way back in the mining days. You paddling? Don't oh, think me. Hey. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Oh, back paddle, back paddle. Back paddle, back paddle, back paddle. Back paddle. Oh, Alright, all right, spin us all the way around. Okay. Spin us all the way around. Uh, you know, there's time forward. I thought it was better to get in the shore water than that. Hit the rock. Hey, look at that. Oh, nest. Wow, look at that nest right there. Oh, what's happening right there? Is that bats? What? Oh, no. It's rock. I didn't see the nest. I'm not right up in the thick of it. Uh -huh. Wow, what a crazy place to have a nest. Oh, what kind of bird would do that on there? It's a huge nest, though. Yeah. A big bird.
You guys, you can see right here. What is that river coming in here? Middle Fork. Middle Fork meeting up with? Middle Fork of the 40 mile, meeting up with the South Fork of the 40 mile to make the actual 40 mile. It's pretty cool. Whoa. Is this so nah, you got it. Okay. There we go. All right, guys, well, it's been a blast so far. You can see ahead of us there. We've just been, this has been the river the whole way with some really mellow areas and then some rapids. We're getting ready to come into an area called the Falls. And we just talked to a miner that's in here and said that he just tore his boat open on it. So he thinks that we won't have any problems with it because we're such a small little boat, but we shall see, because uh, that's one area that we can uh, portage around or we can line the boat around. And uh, we've never been through there. It's just real, I don't know, we've never seen it. So I guess we'll see it when you guys do. We'll find out. We'll find out, huh? <laughs> yeah. Does it make you nervous? A little bit. The falls. A little bit. <laughs> Not only does it sound like a big old drop, but then we see a miner that's tore a big old hole. Like It was like a six incher eight inch hole in the side of his boat. Of course it was an aluminum boat, but uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> we need to avoid rocks like that. See that rock right there? Yeah. Right here, baby. Yeah, okay. So there's a few rocks here, it looks like. Most of them we should get pushed right over. Oh uh, yeah, this is definitely. Paddle, paddle, paddle. By myself? Yeah, stop, stop. Yeah, this is the falls. Guarantee it is. We're gonna eat some water on this. We got twice as much fuel now. We got a 12 gallon fuel tank 
And we've got. And we're stocked up on food. Yeah, I was gonna say twice as much food. Yeah, we hit our oh. we hit our stash point at the 40 mile bridge, and now the bulk of our float trip is gonna happen here between headed towards the Yukon River and then down the Yukon River to Eagle. Yeah, it should be exciting. Yeah, we're excited. We're having a great time. It's so <laughs> nice. The temperatures have been in the 80s. We've been stopping and swimming. Swimming. The river is uh, chilly, but not cold. It's yeah. just so nice to jump in the river. And I forgot my swimsuit, so I've been going with nature's, El Natural. nature's swimsuit. So <laughs> <laughs> we didn't put it on camera, we'll say that. <laughs> Anyways, guys, it's been a great, great trip. Hopefully, you're enjoying the scenery, and uh, we're just gonna keep going. Keep on going. All right, another campsite down. We're loading up for another day on the river. We got, we're always finding these nice little kind of their sandy spots in these rocks to camp. It's been so nice, but uh, it's a little cloudy today. I think it's still supposed to be like 81 degrees or close to 80 degrees, but uh, it's definitely cloudy if you see in the sky there. River's looking good. Definitely keeping my raincoat with me though. Just in case it Your rains. Your poncho. My poncho. Yeah. So we got our raincoats out just in case it rains. But uh, I think according to our river map, we have, uh, there's a couple of rapids coming up. I don't, we don't know how significant they're gonna be, but they are the only two that are labeled on the map, so. We're thinking they might be a little bit more significant. We'll see when we get to them, but there's an old town site up here. If we don't, if we don't forget and we miss it, there's an old town site up here we're gonna try and film. Yeah. Yep. We're gonna hit that one. Yeah, 
Okay, turn, turn. Sit in there. Oh yeah. Keep going. I'm over paddling you. Yep. Okay, back pedal. Go to the gravel beach. There's a good spot. Yeah, they probably dug that out for That's boats. Oh yeah, this is perfect for us. Hell yeah, it is. Sweet! It's amazing, huh? Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful spot. Alright, well we found what we think is that old town site. Um, you can see here, we had to come down this little rapid and then come back into this channel. And it looks like they may have dug this out for deeper boats. So we think this might be the town site. We're going to go take a look around and see. Yeah, right over here, this running down all this gravel right here is a creek. It's called Steel Creek. And we're pretty sure the town site's right back here. So Hopefully. here we go. Yep. Check it out, babe. Let's go check it out. Yeah. Oh, man, look at the oh, old building old back there. Boat. Canoe, old canoe. Oh, wow, this is crazy. Right? Yeah, this I is in the face. very cool. Oh, wow, look at that. It's pretty cool. That is amazing. Oh, yeah, there's a, oh, look at that's it. so cool. Oh. Ooh. Weedy in here. Holy cow, and there's more buildings over there. Oh yeah, there are. Man, there's buildings all in here. Wow. Kind of scary, you can see where the moose have walked through here, probably bears. Oh yeah. This is so cool, it's just old mining town back up in here. It's just amazing, it's so overgrown. Look at those old antlers over the door. Yeah, way over there. Yeah. The old caribou antlers. Man, I wish we could get inside there, but it's all boarded up. To Jim Brown from yeah, Chicken, Alaska. H&H &H Boss, Steel Creek. Old saw blades. Huh. I'm going to go check out this other building okay. with the caribou on it. Looks like a building was there that fell down. Heck, these things look like they could still be used. It's amazing. <laughs> knock, knock, knock. <laughs> oh, it yeah, this one's cool. This one, people still use this one. Oh, really? oh yeah, we could have slept here last night. Oh, that'd be crazy. <sighs> oh, where the old stovepipe used to be. This is great. There's a broom in here. Definitely people are using this still. What? Is that an old American flag? Part of an old American flag. It's all tattered. Holy cow! Wow. Yeah, an emergency. This would this would do. Oh man, if we were in a rainstorm, I'd come in here and sleep in a heartbeat. Our pads? Oh yeah. This is great. Look at this chair. Hey, <laughs> solid. That's awesome. I mean, the fact that these old log structures are standing as long as they are just 
it just blows my mind. I can't believe the glass is still in some of these. Look over oh, here. Oh yeah, look at that. So complete. Yeah, there is complete glass in there. You can see it's that old glass because it's warbled when you look through it. Yeah. The old hand blown. What kills me is, look at this. Let's see if this shows up on here. That chinking is just moss. It's that old, it's just a moss off the ground and they just stuffed it in there. It's dry as a bone. Close wow. off as many air gaps as you can. Look, there used to be stones right here, but they're all covered up now. Yeah. <laughs> can you imagine all the people bustling around in here? So very cool. Okay. Oh man, it's just... Going down to the creek to get their water. Right. I mean, I'm sure. Look at, I mean, look at this big building. This Ew. big one must have been like, I'm thinking the, maybe the processing for the gold. Yeah, it must be. Or, you know, a community meeting area, maybe. Or? Where, yeah, everybody ate together. Maybe. Because you can see where there was an old building right here. Uh huh. And maybe. then it looks like up the hill there, they cleared an area up the hill. Where's the entrance to this building, I wonder? Probably on the side, in the front. I can still see stuff upstairs. Old boards. I can see something up in the window up there, but I can't tell what it is. Yeah, there's it says historical items and sites in this area are a part of American heritage and are protected by federal law. Vandalism and or theft of any historic or prehistoric artifacts are subject to fines and imprisonment. Cool. It's just so cool. You can see how the roof was done up. It's just like... I mean, that is a huge log structure. Oh man, is this... Yeah, this thing's huge. Oh, really? Yeah, it's starting to, it's starting to fall over? Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. This one's all blocked off. Oh, yeah, they're definitely supporting it. Yeah, they've got it all blocked off. But this one's starting to bow out. So they had to block it to try and preserve it. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Still, the glass is held in some of it, though. Up top, yeah. Nobody's breaking it out. That's good. All right, guys. Well, it was awesome being able to find this historic site on the river. We are way out in the bush on the 40 Mile River, and we're at Steel Creek. And this is the old Steel Creek uh, living area. I guess the old yeah. miners came in here and. We call it a township. Yeah, an old Steel Creek town, I guess, township or something, but <clears throat> it was listed as a town and it's still standing. So. Pretty awesome. Glad we could show that to you. Let's get on the river, huh? Yeah. Time to get back on the river. Back on the river. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to take that. We're good, Scott. Okay, we still want to get into those next spots down there, you know? Right, right, right. We would eat some water, though. morning breakfast got water we got our food let's yep. go make some breakfast i'm gonna go sit on a log up over here mm -hmm. are you doing granola or biscuits and gravy i think i'm just gonna do granola today what are you what are you gonna do 
I don't know. I might go for a biscuits and gravy again. <laughs> yeah. I really liked it. Tides you over for sure. Heck yeah. Fills you right up. Big old gravel bar. Yeah, it's huge. That is a lovely seat. Yeah, look, somebody peeled it for us. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my blister. Oh yeah. Look at that. My blister. Ooh -wee. I was doing a mountain house. We boiled water last night and I was dumb enough to pour it on my leg. And I poured boiling water on my knee. So I got a big old blister. Yeah, I think there was a big lesson learned on that. Yeah, Yikes. big lesson. Vaughn's a knucklehead. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have some breakfast. Mountain berry? Mountain berry. Dang it, I'm having difficulties. Just bear with me. Woo! All right. Oh! I did find a very pretty pink rock that is going home with me. Pretty pink rock? Yes. Putting it in my fanny pack. I don't know. I might have a little problems. I may have some problems with this wind. Here's your water. Oh, for the fire? Agua. Yeah, the wind is really wreaks havoc on these jet boils. Ooh, this one looks good. Lots of berries. Yeah, that one is good. It's my favorite. Oh, I almost forgot to take the little pouch out. You know what my favorite is to do? What? Take that one and a mountain house one and mix them together. Oh. Those, that's the best. How much water does this take? Keep your bottle. It's full. I'm gonna drink it. I was really just telling myself, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, this one's really got some big berries in it. Looks like it's making strawberry milk. Show the camera. There's my breakfast. Whoops. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Strawberry milk? Look at that's because that thing's so sugary. <laughs> Yummy. Gonna be delicious. Well, it's a little cloudy. It looks like rain there. If it's coming this way, it might we might get a little rain. Yeah. But overall, it's been amazing. Mm-hmm. It's been amazing. Good kiss. Love you. Mm-hmm. You want a bite? No, I don't. I don't want to. There's not that much in there, so you gotta eat it. Got mm. it down my chin. So beautiful here. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I am hungry though. <clears throat> my guts just started turning a little bit. It's like when you get closer to the bathroom, the more you have to pee. But after right. a long way, you don't. Closer to the food. <laughs> no kidding. Well, it was nice to stop and get our extra bag of food yesterday off the side of the river. Oh man, right? Oh, you see that? Old biscuits and gravy. Hey. Mountain house biscuits and gravy, it's yummy. That's some good stuff right there. Mm. All right guys, well that's a wrap for breakfast on the gravel bar. Yep, get Guess back, on, get the back on the river. Yeah. Looks we like got... it might rain a little, kinda. We... Right, yeah. it looks like it's coming at us, but I don't know. We got Dead Man's Riffle coming up. According to the map we have, it's called Dead Man's Riffle. I have no clue what that is, but Vaughn's worried about being coming a dead man. It said it's about to get like two or three, uh, what's the rating? Oh, class two or three rapids, yeah, which is nothing. Yeah, so we'll see. Uh, low water, because we're at very low water this time of year, so 
I think on high water it's a class three rapid, and then uh, and then we'll be going through a canyon, uh, well, that's a class four or five rapid. But right now at low water, I think it's going to be only like a class three. So. Yeah. Anyways, let's get going. Here we go. I'm telling you, they're skipping rocks all day long. All day long here. I'm gonna skip this rock and see how far it goes across the river. Okay. When we get back to the boat. What do you think? I think it's skipping right here. All right. See what you got, Mr. Skippity. Skippity dude all day. I don't want to throw my arm out or nothing. <laughs> there we go. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Almost oh, made it. Oh man, that was a good skipper. <laughs> All right. I gotta try another one. I'm sorry. Okay, that was just too one good. more time. That was just too good. And here it goes. Ah. Ooh, nice. It, got, it went about, about the same the distance. Same, about the same. Now, this one's a big flat one, but it's gonna be hard to throw. Yeah, see, it's too big. It got a big jump. Yeah. Put some rocks back to the water. Time to, the Time to get back in the boat. Time to get Finally. You got him? Yes. <laughs> One little fish. Oh, look at him. I can't believe I finally caught a little fish. <laughs> Man, live, why can't I catch the big ones? <laughs> this is crazy. You stay, stay, I'll let you go if you just stay put. Hold I'll behave. still, fella. There we go. And off he goes. There he goes. Good job, babe. Thanks. Holy cow, I can't believe I finally caught one. <laughs> That's funny because I just turned the camera on too. <laughs> Anyways, we're rolling down this river. Ryan's doing a bit of fishing. I haven't caught one worth eating yet. <laughs> this is what we're, our day it consists of. Fishing going through little rapids <laughs> and just relaxing. fishing and relaxing. Just wonderful like time. This is definitely dead man's ripple. This is, there's no way it isn't. This is dirty for us. We'll take a little bit of water, babe, but don't sweat it, okay? okay. And we're gonna try to stay on the right side of the rapids. Okay. If we can. We do not want to go sideways. Okay. Well, so back pedal when you think you need to back pedal. Because okay. you need to paddle forward, paddle forward. This is shallow over here, be careful, we don't want to get no shallows. Okay. Okay, let the river take us for a minute and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Looks like the worst of it's right there at the beginning. Yep. Paddle. Yeah, that was Dead Man's Riffle. We're pretty certain of it. That was cool. Woo! This little boat, I mean, this is technically not a river raft. It's a jet boat slash river raft. It got spicy. <laughs> that <laughs> might, was awesome. Might be time to pump a little water. Yep, time to pump water. <laughs> you can see down on my feet. Yeah. If you can see the mountains behind me, we just found a doll sheep back up in the mountains up there. Standing by that Way tree. right back there. You won't be able to see him probably, but. That white speck. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. I came to see what we were doing. I was just telling Vaughn, I was like, these mountains look like sheep would be here. And sure enough. 
That's exciting. You guys can see it, but there's a bear right there staring right at us in the rocks. That's a grizzly bear up there. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That's two bears right here. That's a grizzly bear sitting up there. There was a chocolate phase out down here. There he goes. That's a pretty good sized grizz. Just glass calm. So calm and slow. Slow. Low lazy river. Okay, just, just dipping your foot in the water makes you sure feel so good. And guess mm. what? We definitely 100% made it to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Canada now. We are in Canada. It looks so much like Alaska. It's really weird. You know, it is strange. <laughs> and the fact that there was no sign, there was no nothing. The only reason we know we're in Canada is the GPS says so. Yep. We're trying to sneak up on some Magansers. Staying just out of reach.
like a dead moose. No, it moves, babe. It's taking it. It's drinking. Oh, Back. it looks like an elk. It's drinking. Look at that. Can it's a cat. It? Here, here. Take this. Take this. It's a deer or something. It's dead. <laughs> it's a moose calf or an elk calf. It's moving because it's bobbing. I don't know. It's alive. See its head up? Yeah. You're going to slam us into the rocks. It's dying. Oh man, that's sad. Is it drinking or is it dying? It looks like it's dying. Well guys, that's uh, nature for you. Nature can be pretty brutal. Like that was a moose calf and it was just dying. It was trying to get a drink. Couldn't lift its head out of the water. And uh, I don't know if it tried to cross the river, lost mom, who knows, but nature can be brutal. So that's evidence. All right, guys, it's end of day three. We're getting ready to eat some food. Got our camp set up, and it just couldn't be a more beautiful spot. I mean, it is incredible here. And we got a tent set in the shade. We've learned our lesson over the past few days. We need the shade. <laughs> We got quite a mess going because one of our bags got a little leak in it. So we got some stuff spread out. We're going to clean up and get organized after we eat dinner because we're tired and hungry. We did a ton of paddling today. The water rapid, slow yeah, water, the water was so slow that we thought we better paddle. Or we're not going to get anywhere. So anyways, we're tired and hungry. So we're going to relax and have a nice time. Right, babe? Like, yeah, we started, I think we had, we started at 8 o'clock this morning, and we probably did a 12-hour day today. Yeah, I think it's about 8 o'clock now. Yeah. So. All right, we're going to eat and go to bed. Yep. All right, I thought I'd show you guys a little bit of the gear we like to use. Some of the best purchases we've ever made. A couple of Big Agnes chairs. They're easy to put together and they fold up really small and they're no problem to take along. Then we have our mountain hardware tent. We didn't, we opted to not put on the cover tonight because it's not supposed to rain and it's been sweltering hot. So <laughs> we decided to go without that today. Then, and, and we've had this mountain hardware tent for over 20 years and it works like a champ. On Ryan's side he has a Wiggy's bag and a Big Agnes blow up mattress. I have a Zambivi quilt. You can make a combination with the the Zambivi mattress and it's cozy as can be. So that's a couple of things that we use. Those are our mainstays and we always, if we can, try and bring our own pillows because that makes all the difference on a good night's sleep. <laughs> we pack a gun. Oh, yeah. And, of course, we pack a gun. <laughs> all right, guys. It's uh, morning day four. Day four. We just tore camp down. On the down. river. <laughs> yeah, we just tore camp down. We had a, a little bit of granola for breakfast. Yeah. And the next obstacle we're going to hit on the river is called the canyon. And everything canyon we've read Rapids. about it. Canyon Canyon Rapids. Mm -hmm. And everything we've read about it says it's very dangerous at high water, but we're at low water. So it's probably going to be super chill. Yeah. Uh, class three rapid maybe. Mm -hmm. And so, <clears throat> yeah, I think we're about ready to get into uh, Canada. Well, into the Yukon area. We're, ve we're very close. Today we should hit the Yukon River. Yeah, I hope so. Yep. That's so, the plan. <laughs> headed for the canyon, guys. Let's get out of here. Let's do it.
get across that main current over there. Over there? Yep. Alright. Paddle over. Stop paddling? Okay. We'll get paddling. Alright. This is going to be the canyon. Yeah, this is the canyon. Okay, paddle. Okay, stop. Back paddle. Right, guys well you can see behind me there that was the canyon we just went through and uh that was fun <laughs> that, <laughs> that was, was crazy we took on a little bit of water yeah you see down you my see feet my there feet yep we got one bon sitting in water there <laughs> but yeah what'd you think <laughs> it was awesome that was fun that was definitely what class three probably oh yeah that was a class three for yeah. sure yeah anyways nothing major just uh just good fun. Just a little bit of fun. All right, from here it's on to uh, Clinton Bridge. Yep. And then to the Yukon River. One of the best tools we brought on this thing was this pump. I've had to pump water out of this boat every rapid, so it's been very handy. All right, we made it to the bridge, woo! This is the Clinton Clinton Creek Bridge, or? Yeah, Clinton Creek Bridge. Yeah, so, civilization! This is, this is the first <laughs> sign of civilization we've had in days. And then uh, we pass this bridge and there's nothing until Eagle onto the Yukon River. Yep. I think the Yukon River is only two miles past this bridge. Yes. Two or three. Yeah, two miles past this bridge. It feels good, baby. It feels good. We did it. We did the majority. Well, we did the 40 mile, basically. Yeah, we did the 40 mile. Woo! The whole 40 mile river. Sweet. Awesome. Are you so excited? So excited. <laughs> we made it to the bridge. Oh. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of paddling. Technically, we could pull out right here. Yeah. And then we, we'd have to drive up into Canada to the top of the World Highway and then back to, back to Chicken, Eagle. basically. Oh, we'd have to go back to Eagle, yeah. Yeah. But if we had placed, a, we could have placed a car here uh -huh. and then we could have just headed home from here. 
Well, we got many more miles to go. Many more miles. Yes, many more miles. Many, many, many. <laughs> but it's real pretty. It's beautiful. It is beautiful here. Cool. I feel a very big sense of accomplishment right now. Very cool. On the fourth day, we made it to the bridge. Yeah, we've been hauling ass. Yeah, we have. A lot of paddling. A lot of paddling. A lot of paddling. Ever since we got into Canada, it was like a lake. It was, yeah, it was. <laughs> it was like a big lake. Like, could we please go somewhere? <laughs> Any forward progress One would be appreciated. One day I just laid out and basically took a nap while Ryan kind of just steered us. But yeah, we made it. I'm so excited. Civilization, what? All right, well, let's get on with it. Alright guys, we just came down that and uh, we decided this is a perfect spot to stop and have lunch because guess what? We made it to the Yukon. It's right there. Yukon River. Yeah, so we're going to hang out here for a little bit, get a nice lunch in us and probably restock some water and then we'll jump on the Yukon. Kind of nervous about it, but also very excited. What do you think, babe? Yeah, I'm ready to be on the Yukon. Yeah, fast moving water. Yep. Well, we're paddling out into the Yukon River. We had a nice little lunch bake on the beach right at the confluence of the Yukon and the 40 mile. Yeah. And now we're headed out on the Yukon. That's big water out there. Pretty crazy. Yep. Paddle woman. <laughs> you're just, what are you doing over there? I don't know, but you're spinning us in circles. All right, well, we'll see you again when we cruise in the Yukon. Mighty Yukon.
with us. Holy guacamole, we made it to Eagle. Well, we made it back to our truck that we parked down in Eagle. <laughs> so we just gotta get the boat here, loaded unloaded, it. loaded on the trailer. Yeah. I think we might be getting a hotel room if we can. We don't know if they're gonna be open, but they've yeah. got a hotel here in Eagle. We thought we might stay there. Take it's a probably, shower. Yeah, it's probably about five o'clock in the evening, but yeah, that was a long Yukon trip. Had we not run the jet the whole way, it would, it would have, have been, taken days. Yeah, to float it. Yep. That was... I mean, it's moving. I'll say that compared to what we did on the 40 mile, but whew, that, that saved would have us. taken a long time. Yep. So awesome trip. You had fun? Oh, I had a blast. Actually, this is like one of those trips you'll never forget. Right. It was amazing. Such an amazing trip. Fishing, just floating, yep. swimming. Oh. What a great trip, guys. So we hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one. I guess we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>